Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with a what sold video. Um, and as I do usually in the beginning of every what sold video, I need to stress the importance of watching these. Um, <clears throat> because what is selling for other people um, might also sell for you. It might give you insight onto, you know, what, what you should be listing right now and prices that things are selling for yes you can check sale comps um but you know sometimes there are trends and um and things that you know that they're selling more of and you'd be like hey i need to i need to get my blah 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 listed so that's why i do what sold videos so that um you know I'm not just out there buying a lot of crap and hanging around in my house. Things are selling, which is great. It's what we want, right? So let's take a look really quick at a couple of um, slides. And I will minimize me. Put me down in the corner. Let's put baby in the corner. And or put me up here in this corner. Let's look at sales from, we're looking at February 1st through the 14th. So the first half of February. Um, and so far, February shaping up to be a good month. And the reason I say that is because I have already surpassed last February's sales. I think it is completely fair to measure your growth um, from the month the previous year um you know it's hard to measure february against january it's hard to measure you know it, it's just i don't think it's fair to measure that way because months have different amounts of days in them and different things happen in certain months january was fin christmas finishing up and things like that so maybe a lot of people weren't shopping um our, our sales picking back up and those are things to be looking at so that's why if i am measuring my, my idea of a good month means that this February is better than last year's February. All right. So let's just take a look at the numbers, the actual details, and then we'll look at the items that sold for over $20. Okay. I sold 22 items in those 14 days. Please keep in mind, I am part-time. I don't do this full-time. I am not a high volume seller um, and, and they're great to watch also because they have a lot, uh, if you're watching YouTube um, channels for reselling, they have a lot of vital information that they give people. Um, I think that by doing this, because I'm small and um, you know my sales are not just blowing things out of the water they're actually what I'm I can manage it gives you an idea of um hey part-time I think it's natural that we compare ourselves to other people so um you know don't don't 100 percent compare yourself to me or anybody else just know okay this seems normal you know and and look at it that way just don't tell yourself, oh, I'm bad at this because I can't sell this many things. Nope, nope, that doesn't mean that. Um, but there's always room for improvement. Anyway, gosh, I'm rambling. Okay, 22 items sold in 14 days. 55% um, of those 22 items sold for over $20. 45% of those 22 items sold under $20. Okay, so a lot of people will be like i don't mess with anything unless i can list it over a certain dollar amount i like that idea however when i was first starting out i was just trying to get stuff in my closet and i was you know i maybe had taken things out of my own closet i was given things to list so not everything i have is is like you know super valuable I have some low, lower end, lower price things in my closet. That's I'm okay with that. It's there. It's not going anywhere. And um, yeah, those sales make up part of my business. So I had a gross sales in two weeks of $485.93. That's before any shipping or cost of cost of goods, maybe. 
Um, yeah, no, I don't think cost of goods is in there. I'm sorry. I was like having to do a double take. Um, and um, any kind of platform fees and stuff, if I didn't already say that. Okay. So out of that $485.93, $340.94 were over $20 sales. That is 70% of my gross sales. Um, and $144.99 was under $20, $20 sales. And that's 30% of my total sales. That 144, you know, might not look like a lot, but you know, that's, that's pretty good. That is, oh my gosh, if I, you know, that's my groceries for the month. So I can't complain about that. All right. Let's jump over into Vendu and look at those over $20 sales. Our first one that we're going to look at is this Redskins hoodie, Washington Commanders hoodie. Um, there we go. Sold on Mercari for $20 exactly. My cost of goods on that hoodie was $4.55. Mercari fees $3.08, so I profited $12.37. Those may not be like the highest netting um, items, but I love selling sports fan gear. So, you know, I usually will pick it up every time because I like selling fan gear. All right. This one was not listed long. This is a shirt made by the company Fig and Flower. It has been sold at um, Anthropology. Whether it still is or not, I don't know. I listed it on 128 and it sold on like February 1st. And I'm not sure why the sale date is not popping up. Vendu seems to be having a mom moment on a lot of things. Oh no, I see right here. Sold on February 2nd. So it sold a few days after I listed it, like maybe four. It sold for $27.99 all in. There were fees, cost of goods, and shipping expenses. I profited $18.52 on that top, which I think is fantastic. All right. Let's see. We've got this Nike golf shirt. I think this came in a Goodwill blue box, and it was new with tags. So it sold for, it sold on eBay for $35.99. After fees, cost of goods, and, and shipping expenses, I profited $24.17 on it. I listed it in November, and it sold by February. So, not too long. I always yawn when I do these videos. I think it's from looking at my computer screen. Is that the weirdest thing? All right, next over 20 is this Ishakti dress. I thought this was the prettiest dress. Um... Right? Let's silence that. All right. Um, it had all of this beautiful embroidery on it, and I was pretty confident that it would sell. And it did. It sold on eBay for $33.99. After fees, cost of goods, and shipping, I profited $15.98 on this. I listed it on December 18th, and it sold in on February 3rd. So you see about a month and a half later. Okay, let's go all the way down to Shakti. There's that. What's after? Okay. Donna Morgan, my next thing. I have had this evening gown forever, forever. And it was tough to photograph just because of it being all black with black beading. But I thought it was a beautiful dress. Anyway, um... It says it was listed on 221. Oh, it was listed a year ago. A year ago. Um, so it finally sold on 2623 on Poshmark for $32. After fees and cost of goods, I profited $24 and 60 cents on it. You see me yawning again, right? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. 
I'm telling you, it is staring at the computer screen and it just makes me yawn. Okay, so next I sold these corks. Um, they are the Corks Gemini Women's Ankle Booties, Boots Booties, black brown leather, size 9M zip bag. Wanted to make sure I used as much of my characters as possible in the title. Okay, um, they sold in a month and a half, basically, from listing them. They sold on Mercari for $26, and after all fees and costs of goods, I profited $16.61 on those. I thought they were the cutest shoes. I could not wear them because they, um, I couldn't wear them. They were too small for me. So, all right. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a nine and a half. Um, okay. Talbot's driving loafers. Are they next? Yes, they are. All right. So these tan driving loafers, um, they sold, I list, they sold within a month. I listed them, um, on January 5th. They sold by February 7th on Poshmark for $35. After fees and cost of goods, I profited $24 and 50 cents. I like that. All right. What is next? Look at these guys. These sold fast. I knew they would. Now, they're not going to sell for a ton, but I knew they would sell fast. These are some Lane Bryant ankle booties. I knew that the, the style with all the studding studs on it, I just, I was very confident in it. And I was correct. They sold within six days. They were listed on February 2nd. And they sold by February 8th for a total price of $34.99. And after fees, cost of goods, and any shipping, I profited $12.74. All right. What is after Lane Bryant? Oh, we got the Merrells. I've had these forever. So they are some Merrill hiking shoes. Um, yeah, look at this date. Would you please look at this date? 8 to 2021. So almost a year and a half that I've had these Merrills. Um, but they finally sold on Poshmark for $20. After fees and cost of goods, I profited oh, $9. I will never, ever pay up. I consider $7 paying up. I will never pay that for Merrill's again. Um, before, well, let me, mm, let me rephrase that. Before I would consider it, I would be checking comps in a big way. Okay. This Talbot sweater I'm putting in, even though it doesn't exactly make the cut. Look at that price that it sold for. It sold for $19.99. So that's why it's in this list of $20 or more. That's close enough. Anyway, fees were two ninety. Cost of goods was four dollars. Shipping six forty four. So I profited six dollars and sixty five cents. Not the best, not the best. But I took a lower offer because this sweater had a little bit of staining on it right there, and I pointed that out. And I was willing to take a lesser offer. So. That's me. That's my choice. That's what I decide to do. And I encourage everyone watching to do what you feel is best for your business. All right. Next thing to sell that is over $20 is, are these hearts? Um, what were they? Yes. Silpata. Guys, this is a great jewelry brand and I love finding it in jewelry boxes. Sopata died a, I think I'm pronouncing that right, sterling silver hammered heart earrings with locking wires. Um, they sold on Mercari for $29. Um, and in that jewelry box, I think my cost of goods ended up being a dollar a piece. So after everything, I profited $23.76. 
I love listing jewelry. <laughs> All right. That was the Sopata. What's after Sopata? Quartz, Tabas, Tabas, Sopata, um, Pam Heron. All right. And this is the last item that sold for over $20. This is a Pam Heron necklace, anthropology, bronze, copper, industrial metal, chunky statement. So I bought this on Whatnot. Um, oh my gosh. Mm, sorry, guys. Bought this on Whatnot. I listed it on 2-11, um, February 11th. It sold by February 14th. So fairly confident in this piece when I purchased it for a dollar. So anyway, it um, sold for $25.99. And after fees and cost of goods and shipping, I profited $15.99. <clears throat> so, you guys, that was 12 items that sold for over $20. Let's do our wrap-up. Let's do the wrap-up. Um, let me move me real quick. Slideshow. All right. So here's here is another all important um all important list to be checking out what is actually selling for people right now. For me, shoes. In 14 days, I sold five pairs of shoes. Um, so what is that? A pair every three days, you know, on average. <clears throat> um, sweaters. I sold three sweaters. Outerwear, which consists of hoodies and a coat, so a men's hoodie, a women's coat, two, um, <clears throat> jewelry and accessories, six items. Now, two of those six sold for over $20. <clears throat> I am so sorry, you guys. And um, four of the six sold for under $20. Jewelry doesn't always sell high. Unless you have high-end name brand things, things like sterling silver, things like I showed you with the Sopata. So, <clears throat> I just love jewelry. Um, so, that's why, you know, I have it. That's why I, I put it in my store. I just absolutely, it was, it was the first thing that I ever got into selling with my mother. So, jewelry. And I put accessories because I did sell a pair of suspenders. So I put that in with the accessories. Okay. What else is selling? Shirts. Three shirts sold in that time frame. I sold two dresses. I sold one bag. So that, you know, I'm hoping will help you. Maybe you don't sell jewelry and that is A-OK. -okay. But if you sell shoes, be like, I, I might need to list, you know, a lot of my shoes. If you you know, if you have some sweaters laying around, get them listed. Some shirts laying around, get them listed. Because those things seem to be selling. So, that is everything um, for the last two weeks. Or, well, it's the first two weeks of February. But that was two weeks ago. Do we see? Is that? Yeah. My little light box. Um, I sit here on my couch and list in the evening after I get off work. And I, that's my little light box. So I love being able to put jewelry in there and list right here from my couch. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. And I hope that sales are good for you. And um, drop me a comment if you are a reseller. I, I mean, I imagine that a lot of people that are watching this are. Drop me a comment and let me know how your sales are doing for February. I feel like I'm running a roller coaster in that I'll have several eBay sales in a row and then nothing else. And then no eBay, eBay sales and I'll have some Poshmark and Mercari sales. And that part has been really interesting. It feels like the roller coaster. And um, I've got, I got a necklace that I need to go find and pack up and ship off. But like I said, so far, um, February sales have passed last year's. So I'm tickled pink. I'm really happy. I know that my numbers don't blow people out of the water, but it's a little extra money for me 
and I am happy with it. It works for what I want it to. All right, you guys have a great week. And until the next video, I will say a tout à l'heure. See you later.